सो बेसिकली फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी स्टार्ट विद आर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज इंटरन्यूक्लियर ऑप्थेलमोप्लेजिया नाउ प्लीज सी दिस फिगर दिस इज अ फिगर ऑफ इंटरन्यूक्लियर ऑप्थेलमोप्लेजिया यू शुड रिमेंबर दैट वॉट हैपन्स इन दिस आई एन ओ बेसिकली इट इज अ लीजन ऑफ मीडियल लॉन्गिट्यूडनल फेसिकुलर यू शुड रिमेंबर दिस पॉइंट दैट इट इज द लीजन ऑफ इप्सिलेट्रल मीडियल लॉन्गिट्यूडनल फॉसिकुलर्स और एम एल एफ सो दिस मीन्स इफ देर इज अ राइट एम एल एफ लीजन then you would get a right internuclear ophthalmoplegia now what happens in right internuclear ophthalmoplegia let's say this is these are our two eyes this is the right eye this is the left eye so when there is a right eye abduction there is a left eye adduction this is a normal phenomena okay so if the right eye lateral rectus uh, is innervating similarly the due to contralateral innervation of medial rectus there is a left eye adduction but what happens in internuclear ophthalmoplegia that there is an abduction limitation of the side of the lesion so this means the right eye sorry this there is a adduction limitation of the side of lesion this means that the right eye is not adducting but when the right eye is not adducting because of the contralateral innervation of the left eye there is a left eye nystagmus so we call it left eye abduction saccades so the, this is not a uh, true nystagmus but this is left eye abduction saccades that are happening also remember an important point that convergence is normal okay so convergence is nominal normal in your internuclear ophthalmoplegia okay so why it happens because of the lesion of medial longitudinal fasciculus so basically what is medial longitudinal fasciculus basically there are two uh, nucleuses in your midbrain that is the pprf and the abducens nucleus and the medial longitudinal fasciculus basically connects the pprf and the abducens nucleus to the oculomotor that is the third nerve nucleus so the problem here is in the medial longitudinal fasciculus in your internuclear ophthalmoplegia okay so uh, why it happens the most common cause of uh, uh, internuclear ophthalmoplegia in adults is multiple sclerosis okay so remember the most important cause in adults is multiple sclerosis but in old age the chances of stroke causing internuclear ophthalmoplegia are very high okay so stroke is an important cause in the old age uh there are two variants that also you should know one is the webino so what is webino webino is wall eyed bilateral internuclear ophthalmoplegia so similarly when the mlf is involved with i told you that convergence is normal so sometimes there is a lesion in the midbrain and convergence center is involved then we call, we get a condition that is called wall eye binocular or bilateral internuclear ophthalmoplegia so basically let's say if you this is your eye so in both your eyes the eye would be in the abducting position okay so like both the eyes are seeing towards the wall so this is wall eyed wall eyed bilateral internuclear ophthalmoplegia now another syndrome that you should remember is a one and a half syndrome so we call it one and a half syndrome normally i told you that uh, in your uh, internuclear and ophthalmoplegia only mlf is involved but when pprf abducens and the mlf center all these are involved then we call it as a one and a half syndrome so pprf plus your mlf of the same side ipsilateral side are involved we we find something called that is a one and uh, one and a half syndrome now how your eye looks like basically in one and a half syndrome there is a palsy of all the horizontal movement so let's say there is a right right eye one and a half syndrome so your right eye cannot move do, cannot do adduction it cannot do abduction but in the left eye there can be only abduction okay so this means that left eye is only moving half and right eye is moving there is no movement of right eye this is called one and a half syndrome okay uh, remember if they ask most common cause of either webino one and a half syndrome or ino the most common cause is multiple sclerosis other causes that i told you is important causes is stroke or sometimes you can get it in ocular trauma 
or you can get in some more conditions like Arnold Cherry malformations or other disorders of the brain. Okay, thank you.